Hi honeys and welcome back to Make Me Up and you're all probably wondering that I've definitely forgotten to take out my roller. Well no, today I'm going to show you just how to create the perfect scouse curtain using this handy little curler that's extra long, heat retention and it's going to give you perfect looking scouse curtains. So stay tuned honeys. Okay honey, so the first thing that we want to do is section off the piece of hair that we want to put into the roller. This may be your fringe, your bangs, your side fringe, or even the shortest part of your feathering like mine is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a large section like so. You don't want it to be too thin or too small. And then with this piece of hair, once you've sectioned it nice and neat, we're going to be taking our Elnet Satin, this is the new heat protection spray. And the great thing about this is, this is the one for volume, you can get it in curls and you can get it for straight hair as well. But if you style your hair with heat, this is going to hold for up to three days. It's amazing and it really does help. So I'm just going to spray this onto the hair. So this is going to help form the hair and it will stop it from falling out. And then we're just gonna brush the hair through just to even out all that product, just so it's nicely distributed all the way through and every bit of hair's coated. Now for the scouse curtain look, the hair comes round and sweeps round like this. So for this look, we want to take our fringe roller. This is the one by Sleep Rollers. And the reason why this is so perfect for this look is because it's extra long. And if you compare the length of this or the width of this with the normal roller, it'll only be half. So you don't get any fallout or overhang. So it's literally perfect. And then all we're going to do is comb the hair into the roller up. Tuck your little ends in and then you want to roll into your head. If you just make sure all these little bits are around the curler. So you're rolling inwards. So you roll it all the way, then once you get to the root, you can give it a little wiggle. Because it's Velcro, you don't really need a clip unless you're doing like the hoovering or something vigorous while it's setting. Now this roller is perfect for the fringe roller because it is heat reten retention. So as you can see, there's like a silver coating inside. Hey honey, so I've got my hair dryer. You want to heat the curler up if you're going to be using heat for about 10 minutes until the hair's nice and hot. Hey honey, so if you are going to heat this up with a hairdryer, a top tip is to let it cool down completely until you take the roller out. This way the hair is going to stay in its nice curled curtain style. So now the curler's cooled down and we've waited two hours, we're now going to take it out. First thing though, I am going to spray a little bit of my Sleeping Rollers hairspray. This is really light and it's not too sticky and it also can be brushed out so you're not going to get any of that white flaky ickiness that you do from some hairsprays. So just a light dusting, that's just going to help it set slightly and now for the unrevealing. So what we're looking for is lots of volume and bounce, like so. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to back comb the root slightly. This is just going to give it a little bit of extra volume and body and lift. And this paddle bristle brush is perfect for that because the bristles are so close together. You get more of a smoothing action rather than a combing action. So again, you can just slightly spray with a hairspray on that back combed area. And then all we're going to do is just slightly smooth over this front bit. Just being very careful. And then you can split them into your curtains, so a middle part in. And then basically, just going by eye, you just want to brush down. Don't get scared because they're so high up, that's what we want. And you just literally form and brush down and manipulate and tease your bangs or your curtains or your fringe round like so. Now if you are going to be going out and outside it's a little bit cold or damp or humid, 
Let them stay as big and bouncy as possible because they will slightly drop. And then all that's left to do is give them a little spray. Okay, honeys, and there you have the beautiful, very glam Scouse hairstyle brought to you by the lovely Liverpool girls. This is the Scouse curtain. It's great for parties every day. It just brings glamness to the front here because sometimes you don't know what to do with these hangy little bits. But this is perfect and the fringe roller is just going to create this effortlessly. Okay, honey, so don't forget if you love this video, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget you can also comment below the video. Maybe there's a hairstyle or you're having problems styling your hair in a certain way. Maybe there's a celebrity hairstyle you just love. I'm always happy to give you my top tips and help wherever I can. So thanks for watching, honeys, and we'll see you next week. Bye.